Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 275 of Constructing Los Angeles. How's everybody doing? We are back on this city today, and once again today I'm going to be doing another 10 minute post commentary episode where I do some building in the background and just talk about some topics for a little bit. So we're back at it again for that today. And I have some interesting topics to get into, but of course, as always, at the beginning of these episodes, I just want to quickly mention what I'm going to be working on for you guys today on camera. Um, I'm going to be working on the hospital today. Uh, I had a couple of ideas that I wanted to try out um, for some of the upper levels of the hospital as far as creating some sort of like research center. Um, I felt like the hospital needed something like that, so I'm going to be working on that today a little bit and hopefully it's gonna you know come together pretty good get a good start on it and hopefully you guys will enjoy watching that particular part but anyway guys i have a question of the day to get to in a little bit but my main topic for this video is going to be the battle mode uh game type that was announced today for minecraft on console and uh, this is kind of a a pretty a pretty big announcement um i think uh, I, like I said last episode, I kind of started to touch on it last episode because it wasn't confirmed, but you you could kind of like, get the idea that it was coming uh, because of like the little picture that they released on Twitter. But it turns out that this is going to be battle mode. So I guess that said, like in that really small text that nobody could figure out what it said on that picture, um, I guess it said play battle or something like that. But um, it, it's basically like a... 4j studios developed hunger Games server for minecraft with matchmaking so um i actually didn't see how many players I, i'm gonna guess eight players um yeah i think it is eight players of max um just judging of like the pictures i've seen and, and stuff like that but it's basically like a hunger games that's like you know uh, i guess optimized for console so they have some like different features to it so i'm pretty sure you can only have nine blocks total in your hand like you can't use your full inventory and all the maps are developed by the developers so you know they're they're specifically you know like designed for it um i think it's a pretty cool thing i think a lot of people were were happy about it um what i noticed though from just like reading around um you know there was it wasn't we weren't sure exactly you know we weren't 100 percent sure what that little picture said right whether it was going to be, say, play server, play battle, mini games, whatever people were speculating. You know, I thought it was going to, I thought it said mini games, but, you know, eventually I was, you know, pretty much correct on that. Um, you know, this is basically a mini game server kind of, you know, mini hunger games. So, um, but a lot of people were hoping that it would be servers. I know, like, of course, all the builders in this community, you know, is probably the most passionate part of the community. I don't think that's really a debate. Um, you know, they were all hoping for servers. No, you know, would I want servers? Yeah, of course I would want servers. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, there's disappointment there because they thought it might have been servers. But um, honestly, I don't have a problem with this. I think it's going to be pretty fun. Um, again, I'm not a huge PvP fan, but I feel like if I play it on console, I might enjoy it more because all the PvP I play has been on PC, and I'm I'm not a pro with the mouse and keyboard. Like, I'm all right with it, but it's not, like, second nature to me like a, like a controller is. So um, I'm looking forward to playing it, and... So I kind of wanted to just kind of read some of the details from the news release about it because there are some interesting things in here that I guess I could I could kind of touch on real quick, give my opinions on for today's video. Um, so just to run over some things, it's basically a Hunger Games setup kind of survival games. You guys, I'm sure, have all played this before, whether it's been on PC or you've made your own maps with your friends or something like that. This has been around for like years on Minecraft. And... Um, just reading some of the stuff from it, uh, players in battle matches use randomly generated resources found in chests, placed in specifically designed PvP maps, um, and combat one another in a free-for-all deathmatch until the final victor is determined. So, what does that say to you guys? That's Hunger Games. You know, you're going to start in the middle where all the chests are, and you grab your stuff from it. Um, it is a little bit different, I guess, because you can't have, like, you can't use your full inventory, you can only use... Um, you know, stuff from, like, chests. So you can't, like, just hoard items, I guess, like you could in regular Hunger Games. So that's kind of good. Um, and, of course, they kind of have, like, these little tabs on the screen right above the hot bar that shows how many people are alive, which I also, I think that's a pretty good feature just to kind of keep track of things. So it looks like it's pretty well designed. Um, it should be pretty enjoyable to play. Uh, one thing that I would say I'm a little bit concerned about when it comes to this would be lag. Um, I think you guys all know that 
console Minecraft is notorious for like really bad lag. You know, it's hard to connect to people. It's hard to stay connected in lobbies. When you're in lobbies, you can get frame rate issues sometimes. This has been something that's like been an issue since like the day one of like Xbox 360 back in 2012. Like if you have eight people on your world and your and your connection's shaky, you know it's gonna you're gonna have a hard time letting those people like even load their chunks at all or even stay on the world. Just period. So um, I'm assuming that this is going to be some sort of in-game matchmaking system. In fact, it actually says it right here. Um, you can find other community members to join your game via the in-game matchmaking system. So hopefully it's a, a like some sort of dedicated server um, run through 4J Studios. I'm assuming that's what it is. And it's going to allow you to connect to the server. You don't have to worry about uh, you know lobbying off of one person's internet. And hopefully it will reduce the lag of the game. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see how bad it is. I'm hoping that it'll be nice and smooth because... Um, you know, lag in Minecraft, you, you can turn somebody from like not knowing what they're doing into like they can hit you from their with their sword from like 30 blocks away. It gets a little it gets a little spicy, but um, that's an interesting thing. Uh, I'm interested to see what the uh, the maps look like. I've seen two of them already. Uh, one of them I'm looking at right now. I'll probably throw some pictures on the screen throughout the video so you guys can see. Um, the one I'm looking at right now is kind of looks like some sort of like pirate ship cove thing. Um, I saw another one that was like underground. There looked like there was some sort of like large fossil. It kind of reminded me of like Zelda with like uh, Arbiter's Grounds a little bit. So that was pretty cool. Um, and I don't know what the third one looks like, but it says uh, right here, um, it's, it's gonna be released in June, by the way. So next month, I mean, June's only like four or five days away. So who knows when it'll be released in June, probably towards middle or the end of June. Since I think if it was released at the beginning of June, they probably would just like said like, oh, June 5th or June 1st, we're releasing this, you know what I mean? So. They probably don't have a hard deadline on it, but they're hoping for June. Um, so in June, battle will be rolled out um, free to all owners of Xbox 360, Xbox One, and other consoles via the game update. So 361, and then I guess it says all other consoles, so I guess it's going to come out on PS3 and 4, maybe Wii U as well. I'm not sure about that one. Um, but it's a free update. That's good. We don't have to actually pay for it. Um, you know, I was a little bit worried about that, that it might cost like five bucks to download this, but luckily it is free. So there should be a ton of people on it from launch. And I think it's going to be pretty fun. You know, this is the first time we've gotten like some sort of like server, uh, mini game thing for, for console Minecraft. This is like the, this is a pretty big step, I think. And, you know, I talked about this a little bit last episode. This could be the step that kind of like opens up the, the door to, you know, maybe there could be some sort of like realm or server concept in the future of console minecraft i that's what i hope for um because it seems like right I, I mean i don't really play with people very much on, on xbox minecraft anymore i, I kind of just play by myself and build so and even when i'm playing with um with people on xbox minecraft it's usually pretty laggy and people can't load chunks and it's just frustrating so hopefully this thing runs smoothly and there's a good experience um you know could there be some sort of like you know lag issues on the first day because there's a lot of people on it maybe um, you know, I'm not going to really worry about that stuff too much, but, uh, just the last couple of little notes that I wanted to discuss about this. Um, it says here that it's a free update that includes three maps, uh, for you to try out. And if you like battle and want more, we will be supporting it with additional map pack add-ons periodically after release for $2.99 USD or local equivalent. So, uh, that part's interesting as well. So I guess they're going to start off with, give us three maps to start. And then if it's popular, we'll release more maps in the future. Um, they should release Los Angeles. Should say it right up. I'll, I'll, give them, I'll give them a save of LD when it's done. It'll probably be done soon. I'll give them it. They can, they can turn it into a, into a map for this. Boom. Start. We can let the Dan Lag subscribers. You'll get, a, get some LD PvP battling going on here. Just a thought. But um, that's like pretty much it for like battle. Um... I think it's pretty interesting. Like, I'm, I'm interested to see how it's gonna like run and how it's gonna roll over the community. Cause the Minecraft Xbox community is like, it's it's a frustrated community. Like, not much has happened lately. So like, it's a like it's a lot of people that are like are hoping for like big changes. So we'll see how how it um, actually you know turns out and how it's perceived. Um, but I'm interested to give it a try. Again, I'm not a huge PvP fan, so I don't know how much I personally will be playing it. But hopefully, it still turns out pretty good. Um, anyway, before I end today's episode. Um, I just want to, to say we are at 275 episodes of Constructing Los Angeles, guys. That is, that's pretty crazy. We're 25 episodes away from 300. Um, you know, <laughs> it's crazy how many episodes we've gone through at this point. 
um, to almost be at 300 episodes. If I think about it, if I get up to 365 episodes, that means I would have to have uploaded an episode once a day for an entire year. That's that's crazy. We've been averaging about a video once every three days or so for the last like two and almost three years. So uh, it's been it's been a crazy ride, and I appreciate you guys continuing the support on this series all the way through. It's still like my most popular series, and it just keeps on going on. So I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I didn't get a chance to answer today's question today. I will save it for next episode. Maybe I'll answer two on episode 276. So, um, let me know what you guys think about this battle mode. Are you looking forward to it? Are you disappointed that the, uh, the announcement wasn't servers? Just let me know what you think. I'm curious to see how the community kind of reacts to this because I feel like there's a lot of people that are like excited for it, but there are a lot of people that are disappointed at the same time. So, um, have to wait and see, you know, when it actually comes out. So thank you guys for watching been Dan Lags. Give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Leave some questions of the day if you want in the comment section. I'll see you guys in episode 276 of Constructing Los Angeles in a couple of days, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the building, got some stuff done in the hospital. And with that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.